Hello, I hope you are doing well and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about VC dial backup. I had a request in one of the comments on the previous videos about uh, how we backup VC dial, especially on the cloud platforms. Because when you install VC dial on cloud platforms such as uh, Linode or DigitalOcean using the uh, loading of ESO method, the method that I used uh, in the other video and I explained in the other videos, you cannot use the default uh, cloud platforms backup like DigitalOcean or Linode. They have a, a backup uh, solution that they can backup the whole uh, virtual machine and you can use that uh, in case of a disaster. Uh, so what we should do in such a cases or what we should do even if we have a bare metal server or if we have installed our uh, VCDL on a virtual machine, VMware or uh, anything that you don't have a professional backup solution for it. You can use the VCDL backup script. A VCDL comes with a uh, script that you can fully backup your system and you, are, you can restore it in case of uh, any disaster or if you need to restore the same configuration on the other VM. And this uh, script uh, will back up the database, configuration files, uh, web directories, and everything that you need to restore except the uh, call conversation recordings. For call conversation recordings, I'm teaching you another method. Actually, it's a Linux method that you can sync your uh, recordings using the rsync command. So let's get started. The first part is to uh, run the connect to our Linux box and uh, run the VC box or VC dial backup script. Let's get started. In order to show you how the uh, VC dial backup works, I prepared two system. Uh, system one, let's call it live system that we have our configurations here. For example, I created two campaigns, marketing as sales, or for example, I have my users, or I have my user groups, or even trunks or carriers. Uh, and so this is my live system. And I prepared another system with uh, another IP address that there is nothing here. It's a bare metal install. There is no campaign or no users here. There's the default uh, user that we installed, just that user is there. So this is a uh, fresh install and this is my live system that I want to back up and restore on the second system. This is a mechanism that you can do it for example every night or every every uh, one hour depending on your uh, requirements. So let's see how we do a backup. In order to backup you need to uh, SSH to your system. If you are on the Linux or Mac you should definitely already know how to SSH. If you are on the Windows you can use the Putty software, you, you just need to uh, search for the Putty, download it, and uh, install the Putty to SSH to your system. Uh, let me SSH to my system, to my live system. Okay, you need to log in uh, using root, and all the uh, VCDAL scripts are in this folder. Let me clear my screen. CD, USR, share, asked, GUI, client. So the path is USR, share, asked, GUI, client. If you run ls command to list all the files there, you will see a lot of scripts that most of them are written in the Perl uh, programming language are there. Um, we will use uh, some of them, for example, for updating of the scripts, or they have different purposes. The one that we want to use right now is the script, uh, is the backup script. The name is admin backup.pl. In order to run a script in the Linux, you can use dot a slash uh, before your script. So dot a slash admin backup.pl. If you type dash dash help, you will see the options that uh, this uh, script is providing. For example, um, for example, if you just want to back up the database or just database settings, or for example, if you want to exclude voicemails in your backup, you can uh, specify these options. Uh, the one that I want to use is this one, archive pass, uh, because when I'm creating a backup, I want to 
give it a pass to exactly save there. For example, I want to uh, save it in the root folder. In order to do that, so I just copy this one. Let me clear my screen. I'm just logging. I'm just running admin, um, admin backup a script, and I give it archive pass. Let's save it in the root folder. So that's the command dot slash admin backup dot pl dash dash archive underline pass equals to a slash root because I want to save it here. For example, if you want to save in the TMP, you can just give it a slash TMP. And I will run it based on your database size and how much data or configuration uh, you may have. It may take a longer time because it's a demo system for me and I don't have a lot of configurations or uh, IVRs or voicemail, so it is very fast here. The backup is done. Uh, you can see a summary of uh, how many seconds uh, it took. And if I go now to the s slash root, you can see there is a uh, tart.gz file with my IP address. So 1010 10.220 all zero tar.gz. This is the backup file. It includes all the necessary files uh, and, uh, for example, including uh, voicemail, including uh, database. Everything is there. What we need to do in order to uh, load this configuration in other server, we need to copy this file to our uh, system or for example if you just want to keep it you can just download and keep it uh, in your own system if you are using a windows system uh, you can use a software winscp you can download winscp it's a, a tool that you can uh, actually connect from your windows to the linux box and copy the file so you will go to your root folder and copy it if you are using linux and mac then you can use the SCP command. What I want to do right now, I want to uh, copy this backup file to my second server. Let's say this is my uh, server that I put it aside just for the backup of the my live server. So what I want to do, I want to copy this one. In order to do that, I can use the SCP command. SCP, uh, my file, sorry, SCP. Let me copy the file name. And I want to uh, push it to 10.10.10, 10, 10, uh, my second server. Let's say I want to put it into the uh, root folder. So it's copied to my second server. This is a uh, part that you can write a script to do it automatically. So uh, in my servers, for example, what I'm doing, I'm automatically running the script. I'm copying this um, backup to my second server or to the uh, server that I want to load or restore. And then I will uh, delete this one from my uh, first server. So because I don't need to keep it for a long time. After it's restored, then I will delete it. If I now go to my second server, let's SSH to 10, 10, 10, 2, 2, 2. And if I go to my root folder, you can see the file is here. So I don't need the uh, first server, so I, I will exit the terminal here. So the, we have the full screen. Now I'm on the second server. I name it VCBox2. And I want to restore this um, backup. What should I do? First of all, it's a, a compressed file. So I need to uncompress it, use it tar dash, using the tar command. Uh, you can use it the tar z x v f and then the name of the file. You can use tab to autocomplete and enter. It will extract to root a slash temp. 
So I will go to root slash temp. And you can see uh, all the backups are here. Uh, the configuration files, the sounds, the web configurations, voicemail, and everything are here. In order to uh, actually restore our backup, we have two step. Uh, just one of them are GZ. This is our database. I will tell you how you can load it. So the rest, because they are configuration file and sounds file, you can restore the whole backup using this command. Actually, we just need to extract them, and they will go and sit in the folders that uh, they need to go. So you can use tar-xvf star.tar. So I just extract them. Uh, sorry, tar dash x v. Uh, do we have the star tar? Let me just see what's the problem. Tar x v f uh, star dot tar. Okay. Let me untar them one by one. Tar xvf. Uh, let's start by bin. Yes, we need to actually extract them one by one. Tar xvf, second one. Just copy and paste it. Okay, as you can see, the, it's copied all the configurations on the etc then the same process we need to do for the third one tar xvf and also conf directory and lastly our sounds folder Okay, I think I didn't untar the web folder as well. So even if you have done it, or I mean if you forgot, uh, you have done one of them or not, do it again, it won't harm. Okay, so all configuration files are actually copied. Uh, what we need to do right now is to actually uh, un because this is the gz file we can use the command gun zip dash d to extract it here is the extract database in order to restore the database you can use the mysql command so mysql um, dash u root we don't have any password here and we want to uh, extract into asterisk uh, database. By default, the uh, VC dial database name is asterisk. So we just run this. It will take a while because we're storing to the MySQL database. And uh, that's it. So our database is restored as well. Uh, the last step, we have one last step. Because these configuration files that we have copied from the first servers, all the IP addresses, they are using the previous IP address. We need to update the uh, configurations and database with the actual IP address that we are using. In order to do that, you need to go back to the same folder, USR share as GUI uh, client, USR share as GUI client, and you need to run the script to update the database. So we can use admin, uh, the script to update the IP. We can use admin, I, admin update server IP. It will ask, do you want to use interactive mode? Yes. Uh, what is the old user password? Just uh, keep it, because this is our old IP address, so just keep it. And then again, put your IP address again, because this will, uh, this system doesn't know that you have restored. So by this method, you can update the IP address in all configuration files and in database. 
is this correct? Yes. So as you can see, all the configuration files are updated. Now, if you go to the second server, for example, if you go to the campaigns, you can see the marketing and sales campaigns are there. So this is our second server. If you go, for example, to the users, you can see the users are there. Or even if you click, for example, on the stats, you can see all the uh, even uh, logs, call logs, all of them are there. But uh, there is uh, still one issue. Uh, first of all, this IP is not updated. And the second one, if you click on them, it, will, it, it, it is downloading from the first server because now we have the files there still it can download but we need to uh, copy these files to the second server because if you check this uh, pass of this file it's upload it's downloading from 10 10 10 2 to 1 so what we need to do here we need to copy the files from the first uh, server to the second server if the recording, if the call conversation recordings are important for you. In order to do that, uh, you need to know that the, mm, you need to first log into the first server. Let me log into uh, my first server. I need to use the root login. The recording files are uh, stored in the var, spool, asterisk, monitor, done. CD var, spool, asterisk, monitor, done. In a folder, empty. So you can see this, uh, this is all the uh, recordings that I have in my first server. You can use a command or sync to sync these recording files to the second server. So for example, if I want to uh, sync the recordings from the first server to the second server, I just need to use rsync-avz and dot means the current folder because I'm already here. If you are not in this folder, you can just put the full pass. And so I want to sync this folder from the current server that I'm logging to the second server. Same folder because this, the second server anyway it's a VCDL and the recordings are saving there. So I just enter the password and all the files are synced from my first server to second server. What we usually do we are doing an SS trans, SSH trust between server 1 and server 2 and we have a cron job that it will run for example every 1 hour or every 30 minutes and it will sync all the files from server 1 to server 2 so this is not something that you want to do manually you can automatically uh, do them using their scripts this video is for you to actually know the method know how we are doing backup uh, from one server that was our live server to the second server and uh, how to restore them if you know this method then you can write your scripts yourself to uh, see to do it automated i hope this video helped uh, especially to our friend who put a comment on how we can do a, a backup and restore in the vcdl or how we can do it in the linode this is the same mechanism in my linode i have uh, I have a backup script that automatically backup the uh, live server and it will push to the second server and it restores everything on the second server as well. Mm, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can put a comment and I try to answer them as fast as possible. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day.